Hello, welcome to Presentations in English. Uh, this course will look at lots of different aspects to presentations, uh, including organising them clearly and logically, uh, looking confident when you're delivering your talk, and some tips on English language and pronunciation. Uh, when you get through the course, you'll be able to deliver a, a presentation in a, in a smoother and more confident manner. And if you can do that, you can get people's attention and you can influence them. So, let's get started. Before you begin any kind of presentation, you need to ask yourself three questions. Firstly, what is the purpose of your talk? Secondly, who are your audience? Who is going to listen to your talk? And thirdly, as a result of answering these two questions, what's the style of your presentation? Let's look at each of these in turn. The first question that you want to ask yourself is, what is the purpose of your talk? The purpose will affect the style in which you adopt. And there are many different kinds of purposes. I'll just give you a few. Um, for example, you could be giving a sales talk. You want to persuade a group of people to buy your, uh, your product in some way. Or you could be giving a report, uh, or perhaps uh, a result of some uh, a work project that you've been uh, dealing with. Uh, similarly, perhaps you're an academic, perhaps you work in a, in a university or a school and you're giving um, a report uh, on your study uh, at a conference. Uh, you might be giving some instruction or disseminating information and that's probably what this presentation style is like, uh, teaching people something. Finally, you might want to be giving some kind of inspiring talk to, to motivate people uh, to change their behaviour in some kind of way. So there's lots of overlaps between them, but if you can find the main purpose of your talk, that will reflect the style in which you adopt. The second question to ask yourself is, uh, what's, what's the audience going to be for your presentation? Um, will it be a large audience? Uh, will it be a small one? Will the venue be intimate and, and close? Um, do you know who the audience will be? Are they, are they experts in, in your field or do they know very little about what you're talking about? What's their position compared to you? So once you've answered the first two questions, um, what's the purpose of your talk and what kind of audience uh, are going to listen to you, then you can move on to the third question, which is what kind of style am I going to use for my presentation? And of course, there are very, very many different kinds of styles, um, professional uh, and serious, um, authoritative, um, so you're a sort of expert figure, uh, could be funny and entertaining, uh, it could be charismatic where you are sort of a leader that inspires people to follow you, uh, or just basically friendly and down to earth. So for this uh, course, what I'd like to appear to be is professional and serious, but I'd also like to be a little bit entertaining so that you are motivated to continue to want to listen. And also friendly, I'd like to have a, a good close relationship uh, with, with the audience. And that's what I'll try to do for the rest of these videos. So in this first lesson, we've looked at three questions. What's the purpose of your talk? Who are the audience that are going to listen to your talk? And what kind of style you should adopt? It's important that you choose a style which is natural for you. Very few people can act properly doing a presentation, except professional actors. But the audience can sense that you're uh, sincere and that you're natural, and they will try to create a good relationship with you based on that. So, good luck for the rest of the course. I'm really looking forward to sharing tips with you on how to become a better presenter in English.